So moving on, I don't know if you guys, you guys, because you guys watched, I guess, all the pro conferences. Anthem is a game I've been hearing a lot about. Yes. What is Anthem? I have no idea. Is it like another Destiny kind of game? or? So Anthem is supposed to be the next Destiny. Mm. It's essentially made by Bioware after EA took Bioware, took Mass Effect th 4? Uh, no, Mass Effect Andromeda. Mass Effect Andromeda. Curled it up into a tiny uh, pill and then took the pill and stuck it right up their butts. Because, man, they... They essentially took the Mass Effect series and torpedoed it and destroyed the whole thing. Yeah, like and like Mass hard... Effect 1, 2, and 3, my favorite games ever. I'm not kidding. They're considered I one of love the best game them. trilogies on the planet. But then, so they're, now they're making Anthem. And EA is a company I don't trust. I don't buy their games out of strict principle because they are scum for the most <laughs> part. Sorry to be so abrasively <laughs> opinionated about that, but the thing is, it's like... The whole Star Wars thing. I'm not sure if you were up to date on what happened with Star Wars Battlefront I 2. I was. I did not buy it because I knew that would be a waste of money. Yeah. My brother did. So didn't even play it once. Yep. It is. It was literally the definition of pay to win and you could not win unless you paid. Yep. And that was the big thing. And it literally resulted in Sweden passing a law making loot boxes now illegal. Because mm -hmm. it's a form of gambling, I think. Yeah. It's yeah. a form of gambling now, officially. So it's like... But, you know, like, Anthem looks pretty okay. My big problem with it is that Anthem is a very open game where you, you take on missions, you go into the open world, you shoot bad guys, you loot stuff and everything. Sounds awesome. The flying mechanics look great. But I, I just I can't bring myself to want to get too hyped for it because, again, it's made by EA. Because yeah. don't, don't get me wrong. BioWare is a great company. They are from here in Canada. They're in Edmonton. So it's like they're a great Canadian company. But when you have a company like EA who literally will make your game and change everything about it to make it about microtransactions and make you spend, making you spend the most amount of money, it's kind of hard to get hyped about a game that could potentially be ruined. Other than that, it looks great, though. It's, it's like... <laughs> no, like I'll, Other I'll, than that, Tyree. I'll, I'll be honest. It does look great. It looks like a lot of fun. The flying looks great. You look you looks like you feel like Iron Man. And that's saying something. Because, like, man, those original Iron Man games in the 360 were hot garbage. So it's nice <laughs> a, lot, a lot of the Marvel games are hot, hot garbage, though. Spider-Man's like the only good Marvel game. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Actually, yeah, that I think. Actually, did you like random thing? But like, did you see what EA did to Ultima? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that was bad. So like, they had like seven good games in the series, and then EA took over for eight, and it just they torched it. It's kind of a weird pattern they have, and that's neither here nor there. But essentially, EA will take companies try and force their ways upon their, their like mm -hmm. company ways upon them and if it doesn't work the company just torches it to the ground yeah that's what happened with visceral they made dead space and dead space one and two were great and then three was all action-based microtransactions and now the company doesn't exist yeah they uh they're a leech <laughs> but, i mean yeah still get hyped for anthem though because again there's because here's the thing ea can't screw up anymore so this means they can only do good so there is a reason to be hyped for Anthem, and that's just essentially you yeah, just have to keep your eye on it and be like, hey, yay, calling you out on your bullshit already. Don't be dumb.